y'all, I wanted to hop on and share this tincture that I'm making today out of cleavers. These have been washed and squished a little bit, but that is what it looks like. You'll notice some little hair-like things on the stem and leaves. And these are little guys are the ones that will stick to your clothes. Well, if you actually hit yourself with them. See? They'll get stuck to you if you're out in the woods and walk through them. But the reason that I wanted to harvest these was for uh, urinary health. It's really good for urinary tract health. It cleanses your uh, lymphatic system. So it's a, it's a slight diuretic and it gets rid of inflammation in the body and also is super, super good for your immune system. I'm trying my best to make all of my own uh, medicines this year out of tinctures and different teas and things. That way I'll have them on hand whenever someone in the family needs them. See, I'm just crushing it up in this mortar and pestle is what this is called. And that just releases some of the juices before you put it into your jar. If you don't have one, you could always just chop it. The ratio here is this is a fresh herb, but if we were using um, dried, it would be five to one uh, herb to alcohol ratio. So you would need like, to be exact, I'm not real exact with mine, but if you want an exact recipe, it's like one ounce of herb to five ounces of alcohol mixture or alcohol water mixture. And so let's talk about that. This is Everclear, which is 190 proof. So it's 95% alcohol by volume. And they say that that is a little bit strong sometimes for certain herbs because it can kind of kill uh, different parts of the medicine in the plant. So you want to dilute it on certain things, not all things, with distilled water. And it has to be distilled water because that means everything, every uh, mineral, every mi microbe, anything that could be in the water has been stripped. But it's actually not good for us to drink distilled water because since it has no natural minerals, that we need in our water, um, it will pull minerals from our body. So this will also pull stuff from the plant along with the alcohol. And I've made it to where I don't dilute it, but I decided to go ahead and, and give it a try, diluting it a little bit. If it was a root or like a, a tuber or something like that, you, you would probably just want to do Everclear to go ahead and extract more of the, the properties. But with the leaves, they're a bit more delicate than roots and different things like that. So it depends on what you're tincturing and uh, how you wanna do it. You can also use like a 100 proof vodka or even 80 proof vodka if you, if you have that instead and probably get away with not diluting it at all. So it's, a lot of it's not, not exact but those are some ratios to follow. The ratio, since it's fresh, and that means that the herbs have more water in them already, is a two to one, or one to two ratio. So an ounce of herbs to two ounces of alcohol tincture. So what I'm gonna do is just, I've got it like that much up, and I'm just gonna pour, It's already turning pretty green in there. So that, that wasn't measured, but I, I did give you all the ratios if you do want to be a measuring person. And now I'm just gonna add a little bit of water, distilled water. But you can make your own distilled water. I just got that for now. 
Yeah, maybe a splash more. And again, the distilled just assures to make it uh, shelf stable that no bacteria can grow in it, which the alcohol would kill it all anyway, most likely. Now what this is gonna do is I'm gonna go get a lid and give it a good shake. And I'm gonna shake it like every day for at least about a month. And some people say less and some say more, but at least around a month. And then what will happen is the uh, alcohol and distilled water mixture will have pulled all of the medicinal properties out of your plant. And you can take, bottle it up into little droppers and take usually about five drops or so at a time, depending on what you're treating. And I might even take this tincture and mix it with, um, I'm thinking about making a, a urinary tract, tract medicine. So I'm thinking about tincturing cleavers, stinging nettle, corn silk, and combining all of it together and having a blend on hand and doing that with various different plants for different ailments. So that's just one thing you can do. It's really, really simple and an easy, easy way to preserve your plants. Some people say to keep it out of sunny locations and some say that it doesn't matter. I, I just go ahead and keep it in just on my counter. It's some, it's a little bit sunny, but not very much. So I'll shake it as much as I can remember to. And then in about a month, we will have our tincture. Thank y'all. You have a blessed day.